What's going on guys? Today we are looking at my brand new ViewSonic VX3276 4K MHD monitor. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Dad Tech TV. Today we're going to do a little unboxing of a new monitor that I have. Along with that we will set it up. This monitor is not small. Like I said it's the VX3276 4K MHD. All right, so you guys can see that. And this is a 32 inch monitor. It's 4K UHD. So rather than full HD, which is your standard 1080, which is a 1920 by 1080 resolution, this is UHD or Ultra HD, which quadruples that resolution, that 1080p resolution to a 3840 by 2160 or what we call 4K. So I'm upgrading my monitor to this because of more and more content creation that I'm doing with video editing. Um, this is an ultra thin monitor, which is pretty cool. Uh, very thin, so when we pull it out, you guys will see that. It has HDR10 content support, and it's ViewSonic Super Clear MVA. So I'm gonna start opening this while I'm talking. But basically, MVA or VA is the color of monitor, or not coloring, but the type of monitor between your TN and your IPS, with IPS being your highest quality as far as color and viewing angles, while TN is going to have the fastest response rate, but not as good viewing angles, not as good contrast, not as good colors. So for gaming, a lot of people get the TN panels, um, if you're really into editing photos, into content creation into video editing then an IPS is the best this is kind of in the middle um, a lot of people say that the VA monitors don't have great response time um, very slow slower than even IPS but it has much better color than the TN however there's this is an MVA which is supposed to improve upon the standard VA so this has a standard response time GTG typical of eight milliseconds However, with the overdrive, which is a setting on here, it's supposed to have a response time of three milliseconds. Now, the interesting part is that a lot of people say that MVA technology on paper is supposed to be really good. The numbers look amazing. However, it doesn't always translate to be as good as it says. So that's why we're gonna test this out and see what it's like. Um, so I'm opening this up right now. I'll probably speed this up. I'm gonna get this out, this thing is huge. This thing is Alright, so here we have some tools. Comes with an HDMI cable, power cord, and some mounts. Let's put those down over here. And this does have uh, two HDMI inputs, HDMI 2.0, one display port and one mini display port. It also has some internal speakers, two of them. Um, so I'll probably be using display port with this. So it's a bit of mess in here, but I need a big surface to do this on. So <laughs> um, it looks like those tools will be so I can set this up. Let's get the instructions and the bolts. All right, so we got, so these are probably for the bottom. Maybe not, now we got the ones there. Let's see what those are for. And a very interesting uh, screwdriver that it comes with. This is a Phillips head. <laughs> and the funny part is, is that mine is downstairs. I didn't even think to bring it up. So let's see what it says. Let me just look at these real quick to make sure I put this together correctly. OK, 
Okay, so there's really no instructions on how to put this together. So let's see what we can do. I'm just gonna flip this up. Two screws in the bottom here, one down here. So that should be easy enough. Let's get those screws. Let's see, you guys can see how thin that is now. That's the ultra thin, obviously, a little bit bigger in the back. Right here are gonna be all the controls. And underneath are gonna be our inputs and there's two speakers back here also. But this is a very impressive monitor. It's huge. It's really big. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you where I need to try and fit this. All right, guys, so this is my current setup. I have two monitors that I use for my regular computer. So when I work from home, I use those. When I use my personal computer, I use those. Uh, I have a dock here for laptop. I also have a desktop hooked up. This monitor is for other things. So I have like my Raspberry Pi or any kind of other things that I hook up. If I have a second laptop, I'll just plug it in right here. I got a Dell power cord. I got Lenovo power cords. I got a <laughs> whole bunch of different stuff. This is on HDMI. These are on DisplayPort. So what I want to do is that I want to get rid of these two monitors. My buddy promised me that getting rid of two, I think these are either 22s or 24s, but getting rid of these two and going to a 4K32, um, I won't notice a difference. I'll be much happier with just one monitor. So we're going to find out if that's true or not. Um, so let me try and move some stuff around. And then I'll show you what it looks like. See you in a minute. All right, guys. So did a quick setup. I still have some wires hanging out over here. The other monitor is still up over there. Not sure if I'm keeping it or not, but I wanted to just get this set up to see what it looks like. Now, I know that me recording this monitor is not going to be the actual quality when you guys see this. So you're going to have to take a little bit of my word for it when I tell you how it looks but let's power this thing on um, this 32 inches of awesomeness and see what it looks like so I just turned it on let's see it boot up but initial impressions this thing is very large it's very very big 32 inches is definitely massive compared to the 22s or 24s that I had the question is now gonna be is one monitor enough when I've been used to two. So here it comes, the standard Dell logo as we get uh, Windows booted up. But I'm excited to see what this thing looks like. Alright guys, so immediately I'm looking at this. I know that you guys cannot see the quality of this, but the colors look really nice and the image looks really clear and it's really nice to have this big monitor. So, so far I'm pretty excited. Uh, let me get logged in real quick. And so <laughs> I put a 4K background on my computer before I booted this up and it definitely worth it. This, this background image looks amazing. So let's just take a look at the settings real quick. This is default, how it came up. If I go in, we can see, okay, so we're at the full 3840 by 2164 K resolution. Here we're scaling at 150%, which it says recommended. Now I'm gonna actually put this down to 100. And those icons are tiny. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see it, but this is how I want it to work with it. So let's take a look at a couple things. So we changed the scaling back to 100% from the 150%. I can always change it back, but I wanted to get as much space on this monitor as possible. Um, one of the main things that I do here, obviously you know that I make videos. So you, I use Premiere Elements and using Premiere Elements, it I was having a little bit of a struggle as far as seeing the timeline at the bottom 
the different things that I was editing down there and then still having a good view of the video at the top when I wanted to see what was going on. So I kind of had to pull the bottom up, push the bottom down so that I could increase or decrease the size of the video. Um, so here I'm going to pull up a recent project. Let's see, let's do the slow-mo video. And okay. So now I have an incredible amount of room down here on the bottom and still have a very large image or a very large video at the top. So I can actually decrease this, still have this here. I can increase my video, increase my audio. And, oh man, this, this is exactly what I needed. This is great. So I put this here. It's it's doing a little rendering. Um, but this looks really, really nice so far. This is exactly what I wanted. So that's playing. Okay, I got, right now I have the sound coming through my headphones. So let's do this. I'm gonna go down here also and I'm gonna switch to the monitor. So the VX3276 UHD monitor, high dev audio in here. The problem is, is that Premiere is not smart enough to switch. So if I hit play on this, Oh, it did switch over. Sometimes I've had problems before with the actual audio switching. So now we're playing through the speakers on the monitor and they're not playing on these. It's actually playing on the built-in that are actually behind the monitor and it sounds okay, I guess. Um, I've never been a fan of built-in monitors. Let's turn that up and see. I don't know if you guys can even hear it. Yeah, now that, that doesn't sound great. That doesn't sound that great. I'm gonna just change this back to my headset right now. Um, so we're not gonna worry about those speakers. I didn't plan on using them. The cool part is that there is an audio out. So maybe the connectivity for audio to the monitor and then utilizing that jack right on the monitor to get to some better speakers and easier than trying to run a cable down to the computer. That might be a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer, but as far as using the actual speakers in there, um, I, I'm definitely not gonna use them. So we'll just leave the speaker comment at that. So Premiere, this is exactly what I needed. I can also see and actually expand now the different project assets. So I get a lot more room up here also, which is incredibly nice. And then of course with the uh, tools bar over here. So, so far I'm impressed again at 100% scaling, not at 150% scaling. Um, the amount of room I have on this screen is amazing. So let me close this out. And um, we're gonna check out our favorite youtube.com slash c slash dad tech tv our favorite channel right okay so here we are we got the uh epic day the lost trails video what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna check to make sure that this is on 4k which it is this is the 2160p let's go full screen on that and well, again, you guys, through the camera to the screen, you guys can't see the quality on this, but the colors look incredibly nice. It's incredibly clear. The 32 inches is more than large enough. I know that somebody was actually reviewing a 32 inch and they said that the problem that they had is that they were moving their head around too much to kind of look from one side of the screen to the other. And the key to that is making sure you have enough distance from the screen. A lot of times when you're working on your desk with a computer, um, standard size monitor, you're, you're pretty close to that monitor. So you need to make sure that you're far enough away so you're not moving your head back and forth just to go from one side of the screen to the other. This also has the um, VESA mounts, VESA mounts, um, so you can mount it to the wall or you can get one of those mounts that kind of uh, connects to the desk and holds it a little bit differently and you can move it around. This, this doesn't have much movement, it doesn't go up and down, it just tilts forward and backwards. Um, but very happy with this monitor, very happy with the colors. This this thing is super nice. So let's get out of here real quick. I'm gonna pause that. 
Next thing we're going to check out is YouTubeTV.com. I think I'm going to be in here with the wrong account. So let's do a sign in with my regular account. And let's see, what do we want to play? So I definitely love me some Billions. Billions is one of my favorite shows. So let's just click this real quick and take a look. Let's just uh, pick a random episode and also kind of jump into it and see where we are. So this quality is super nice. This is perfect for watching some shows, not just doing work on. Um, very clear. I, I like this a lot. Wow, I'm really happy. Okay. <laughs> so let's get out of this one. I'm going to close that out now. And we're going to jump into... So I'm not a big gamer. I used to be into StarCraft. I still have it on here. I was actually playing the other day. I'm terrible. You'll be able to see that I came up in the uh, very low in the Bronze League, which means basically the lowest you can be. But let's take a look at what the game looks like. Again, you're not going to be able to see the quality as I record the screen, but just want to give you an idea of what this monitor is like. Maybe it'll give you an idea. I haven't looked at the video yet, but um, hopefully this gives you a little bit of an idea. So this comes up and immediately the quality on this is very good. It looks really nice. Wow, okay. Ooh, yeah, that looks really good. Okay. Click on some versus. Wow, yeah, so I like playing as Protos. So I think I said that a little bit weird. Protos, Protos, Protos. Anyway, Zerg, Terran. Wow, this looks really good. Okay, my, um, what are my settings? For best picture quality, change resolution. To 3840 by 2160. Isn't that what I had it on though? Pretty sure that's what I, oh, you wanna know what? The game probably changes the resolution so that the game fits the same for everybody. Okay, um, cool. I have this on extreme, ultra, ultra, ultra. So this is set as high as possible. Ah, resolution here. So now what we wanna do is we wanna go up to the 3840 by 2160. So this might even look better Let's see, what's vertical sync? Do I need vertical sync? Synchronizes your frame rate to some fraction of your monitor's refresh rate. Eh, I'm not gonna leave that off for now. So let's do accept. Let's see what this thing looks like now. Uh, your display mode settings have changed. You wanna keep, yeah. So this actually, you, you definitely won't see this, but I can see the difference in how clear this looks now. Um, this is like a whole new game for me. This is awesome. So this is full StarCraft in... Uh-oh, I need to watch out what it's saying on the bottom. I'm probably going to have to block this out a little bit with some of the people typing down here. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is amazing. I'm really happy with this. So let's just exit out. Um, the only other thing that I'm going to mention, so this isn't a full review. This is just, you know, the unboxing, initial boot up, initial impressions. My initial impressions are great. Um, one of the last things that we had here is that this monitor actually comes with some preset modes. So if I reach over here, there's Gamer 1, Gamer 2, Gamer 3, FPS 1, FPS 2, RTS, and MOBA. So these are set with different color profiles, um, specifically for gaming and things like that. So I'm going to play around with those. I, I'll look at them. Um, I have a feeling that it, there's a little bit of difference just in coloring. Along with that, I need to make sure if I go over here, I think if I do this, and I do this. Okay, so I'm on standard right now. What I wanna do is go down to the response time. Okay, so I'm on ultra fast. So for response time, I think this is the, um, the GTG OD that I was talking about before to get better response time. Looks like there's a standard, advanced, and ultra fast. So that's set to ultra fast right now. Um, looks pretty good to me. Obviously, I'm not really playing the games. I haven't used this too much yet. So maybe I'll do a review after I've been using this for a while. Just as some other background information, basically what I'm doing is that I'm upgrading some parts to my computer setup. I know that I started my channel off with a lot of tech stuff as far as, you know, some of those penetration testing classes the HAPT that I did 
moving into ECPPT, which I never finished, which I should. Um, you know, I have a tech background. That's what I do. So upgrading my computer. There's a whole tech side to making YouTube videos. So I'm trying to share that with you as I upgrade some pieces. So this monitor is that first upgrade that I'm doing that I wanted to share with you. And as I continue to use it, I'll definitely give you guys some feedback, let you know what I think, do a full review. Um, I have some other pieces here that I can review also. Some things that I've been using, like my Blue Yeti microphone. I love it. Haven't been using it recently, just been using the GoPro. Um, doing more video, whereas previously I was doing some uh, screen capturing where it was much easier to use that Blue Yeti. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to leave it at that. I appreciate you guys watching this. If you can do me a favor, just click the like button, that thumbs up, and make sure to subscribe. I will be back with more and more content, and I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Have a good one.